Now, in, uh, in a few moments, you will uh, see a discussion about um, a man, an animal rights activist, who thinks that any woman who wears fur should be brutally raped and sodomized. That a circus is the same as a, a slave ship taking Africans to America for a life of horrible slavery. And that a butcher's store is equal to a death camp. Here's a taste. I want to see if you can handle the truth. All right? You meat eaters. You're no better than a terrorist, rapist, child molester, slave owner, hit and or serial killer. That's the truth. He's got a point, and of course, he's taken his shirt off, so he must be right. Is he typical of the animal rights movement? Well, no, but he's far from unique either. Remember Peter Singer, the world-renowned ethicist and animal rights leader who thinks a pig is more human and more worthy of life than a handicapped child? So please, spare me the rubbish. Uh, spare me the rubbish about continuum between compassion for human and love for animals. I love animals. I, I really do. But I also believe in a hierarchy. People matter more than animals. Now, every time I say this, I receive the most abusive and insulting emails. Hello. And, and not just a few of them, but a lot of them. People who foam at the metaphorical mouth because I dare to recite common sense. Here's an example of all the, the hysteria surrounding animal rights and why Ryan Gosling in particular is such a wonderful human being. Ryan Gosling really is an animal lover. I love the story. I love Ryan Gosling for many reasons. This probably for the biggest reason. Now, Ryan Gosling has partnered with the Farm Sanctuary and the Humane Society International Canada in hopes to help provide more ethical treatment for the million pigs out there in Canada who are contained in these gestation crates, which are metal cages where the pigs can't even turn around. It's yeah. heart-wrenching. If you've ever seen videos about it, you know what I'm talking about. So basically what he's done, not only partnering with them, he's also wrote his own piece for Globe and Mail. And in the piece, he states, I applaud NFACC for working to improve life for Canada's pigs and hope it will close this dangerous loophole by disallowing the pork industry from confining pigs for weeks at a time where they can't move, they can't turn around. He says, um, something I would never dream of doing to my own dog, George, and that no compassionate Canadian would ever do this to any animal. I got a very, very annoying advice. Did you hear what she said? He's also wrote. You know, so Bubblehead speaks out about Ryan Gosling and his bloody dog, George. But, but they always try to somehow intellectualize and justify their neurosis, don't they? There's that old canard that the people who abuse animals go on to become serial killers. Well, it's, it's, it's absolute rubbish. Some loose sociological research from a group of criminologists, not real, not real academic discipline anyway, they found that when they asked serial killers, insane liars, of course, if they started their crimes by abusing animals, they said yes. Oh, OK, then. <laughs> but this is research back to front. To find a genuine answer, you'd have to interview animal, animal abusers in general oof, and discover how many of them went on to become serial killers. In that anim animal abuse is tragically quite common and serial killing actually rather rare, it's pretty obvious that there is no important link or connection. But the animal rights nut bars don't really care about animal abusers. They think owning an animal, eating an animal, using an animal's skin, experimenting on an animal, animal to try to find a cure for cancer is abusive in itself. You're an abuser. I bet you are. In other words, all of us are abusers. It's just a way to make first world wealthy animal obsession sound more reasonable than it actually is. Look, abusing animals is, is wrong because it's abusing animals. Abuse is wrong. It's abuse. Always wrong of anything and anyone. The wrong use of something. Animals have feelings, and to hurt them for, for kicks is bad, nasty. It's not to be allowed. But there's something far deeper and more worrying here, and it transcends animals altogether, frankly. It's people losing all sense of balance and embracing ideas and other people without using their mind, their mentality. Forgive the comparison. But when Justin Trudeau groupies are asked why their man should be prime minister and they can't give one serious, credible answer other than he's nice and cute and says the word you a lot, this is the man who boasts that he smokes pot, wants us all to be able to smoke pot, but you know what? He really, really cares about drinking and driving. Hi, this is Justin Trudeau. 
We treasure the holiday season for the special opportunity it provides us to gather with our families, friends, and neighbors. Even more reason to remember your loved ones when planning your celebrations this year. Please don't drink and drive. And on behalf of my family and staff, I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a new year that brings peace and contentment to you and yours. It was just lovely, wasn't it? Uh, this is the man these idiots actually want to be Prime Minister. How about smoking dope and driving? And although he said Christmas once, he says holidays through most of that, doesn't he? This is interesting because when you speak to Islamic audiences, you do refer specifically to Ramadan, don't you? Which, hmm, mm, rather significant. Now, Trudeau, Trudeau aside, it doesn't really matter. Th there are the people who elect Barack Obama as president without being able to name any of his policies. People who weep for Princess Diana, but walk past a homeless person with no regard at all. They feel rather than think. They feel rather than think. They react instead of considering. They emotionalize and indulge rather than analyze and dissect, which means we're in enormous trouble. Vote Justin, save the baby seals, weep when someone dies in an episode of Glee, and prefer reality television to reality. The world will end not with a bang, but with a meow. <laughs> mandates meat eating. The golden rule states, do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. Animals qualify as others, and thou shalt not kill. The four most important yet most ignored words in all religious teachings. There's not an asterisk next to that commandment saying, unless you walk on all fours, have fur, feathers, horns, beaks, or gills. You are a total moron. <laughs> um, have you not read, and you're referring to the Old Testament here, the, the kosher laws, the dietary laws, all the food that you can eat and the food that you can't eat, lots of food you can eat. Well, it's animals. Most of it's animals. What nonsense. It's do not murder. It's don't take innocent human life. You can kill other people. I mean, this command was given to a people who then got rid of the Canaanites. But anyway, you're a fool. David Menzies isn't. Sun News <laughs> contributor. And, and I'm... You have a dog, don't you? I do. And I, have, I, and I love my dog, and I really do, you know, and I spend all sorts of money to make sure she's healthy and I take care of her, and, and, we, and we should have regard for animals. We've got two cats as well. Cats, yeah, whatever. But this obsession, and, and th this man has now said, a woman who wears fur should be brutally raped and so that it'll leave scars for the rest of her life. He said that um, if you eat meat, uh, if you wear any sort of animal skin, you're, you're like a, a slaver, like a Nazi death camp commandant. Pretty moderate words, aren't they? Uh, yeah, you know, Michael, um, Yafowski is, is also a sexist because he, he said, well, he said, if you're a woman that wears fur, you should be brutally raped. If you're a man who wears fur, you should be brutally anally raped and disemboweled. Now, oh. how come... How come a woman just gets rape classic, whereas I'd get disemboweled? I mean, that just doesn't seem right. What do you it? prefer, the disemboweling or the buggering? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, just to spite these cats, I'd wear a fur coat if it didn't make me look so gay. But, you know, so that's hey, off the table. Hey, enough no, of that. No, it's true. What, what, what's, <laughs> what is it about this idiot? I mean, he, because, I mean, he's, he's been around for a while. I mean, he has a bit of a following, actually. You saw him there speaking at, I think, a university. Well, you've nailed the point I was going to make, uh, Michael, and that is... Listen, if this guy was in a park, if he was part of Occupy or Idle No More, getting up on a soapbox, speaking to two people just walking by, that's one thing. Imagine paying for tuition or imagine being a parent and spending thousands of dollars paying for your child to go to school, get an education, and this lunatic comes in spewing all that nonsense. Well, how, how often does he speak at universities? Oh, I don't know. Uh, but that clearly is him Gary speaking. Gary Yurovsky. Yes. Um, he sits down and writes out what should happen to people who wear fur. Mm. It's one thing to say, look, I, I, I don't believe fur is appropriate, actually. I, I, I think if we can do without it, we should do without it. But to say a woman should be raped and a man sodomized, and a woman brutally raped, 
mean, he's actually calling for, for the brutal, animalistic rape of a woman who dresses in a certain way. Is that not a criminal offense? Well, well, well of course. And by the way, who would be doing it? Would it be uh, you, uh, this guy, or does he get somebody else in the commission of I'm a crime? I'm not sure if he will be capable. I mean, I don't think he's thought this through about how he's... It's gonna... always the technicalities, <laughs> isn't it? Know. You know, the ideas sound great, and then you think about them. Mm, now, who does the rape? Yeah, yes. and, and, if it's, and if I did wear that uh, fur coat, and I'm going to be uh, anally raped as he wants me to, do I get to choose who does that? To me, I mean, like, we got to think this through, Michael. I know it's kind of uncomfortable, isn't it? But you know what? Um, you said that, the, you know, I'm not looking at you, brother. Um, you said you have a problem with fur. I don't have a problem with fur. The fur industry in Canada is almost a billion dollars a year. Uh, 65,000 Canadians earn a hard living it, with the with the fur industry mm -hmm. and listen when you you know you'll see come March you know the, uh, the 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 normal usual suspect lunatics will come out and go up against the harp and hood seal hunt yeah. in uh, you know well, in I, I oppose, I'm, just, I'm just being candid with you I mean personally I, I wouldn't wear I, I wear leather shoes I mean I, I, I wear not a leather jacket anymore I'm 54 for goodness sake but I mean I, I'm not uh, obsessive about it but there are certain things I prefer not to do but I'm not telling others to behave in such a way mm. but it what he says, for example, I mean, he's Jewish, by the way. Okay. So he gets away with comparing the Holocaust to a butcher's shop. Oh, of course. But black slavery, um, 200 years or so of, of treating people worse than animals, working them to death, killing them. And he says that a circus is like a slave ship. Yeah. Well, how dare he say that? Well, Michael, but even with the Holocaust analogy, how dare you, just because you say I'm a Jew, so I can now get a free pass on the Holocaust, you're not from two generations ago no. of being somebody that was uh, in Auschwitz, uh, you know, going through a starvation diet and all the other misery that came uh, with starvation it. Starvation diet? Uh, uh, well, I think it was a starvation diet. They yeah, were starved we to death. Saying, female, or, or execution. This is, this is, female pigs are forcibly impregnated against their will. Well, that's redundant phrasing. Um, <laughs> with lo well, I, I mean, to... to what usually happens, the pig comes up and says to the, to the lady pig, <laughs> you're rather attractive. Would you like a meal tonight? I mean, how did you, I don't know. Well, I'd be going back to my dating world of 20 years ago, Michael. <laughs> you know, well, what do you want? Your you poor know? wife. You give, me, I... you give me a law ball like that, I'm going to hit it out of the ballpark. Right. No, but, but, but Michael. Very quick. But they don't understand animal husbandry. And they even, this is the worst thing about these is people. That being married to an animal? What is that? <laughs> well, 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 very quick, leave, very leave quick. Lady men's out of this. <laughs> even when it comes, you know, to uh, a blind person using a seeing eye dog, they're even against Let, that well, kind that's of true. That is And true. how dare they All as right. an able-bodied sighted person make that? They're hypocrites. Every men's is. Thank you very much indeed. Well, I hope I brought clarity to the situation. Mm, whatever. <laughs>